going on everyone hope you're having a good day welcome to tundra dude 34 youtube channel we are doing our usual dealership walk just woke up literally 10 minutes ago brushed my teeth threw some clothes on let's go walk these dealer lots there's not a lot of toyotas out there today not a lot of 2022 so we're going to do the local lot we're going to see if they do have any 2022s uh, we'll check the used inventory but then we're going to do something a little bit different today we're sitting in the gorgeous 2022 trd pro tundra um, after we're done with the Toyota lot, I figured today we will go over to some of the competitors lots, the Chevy lot, Ford, Ram, and let's see if the prices compare to what we're seeing from Toyota. A lot of the Toyota faithful are very upset that the prices rose so high on these 2022 Tundras with the next generation, um, but let's see how some of the other brands are pricing out their vehicles. We'll see if there's markups. Uh, you know, everything like that. But I figured today's a good opportunity because there's not a lot of 2022 Tundras around anywhere. I searched all over the place. I plan to drive a little bit to see 2022s today, uh, but there's there's just no inventory right now. Uh, so it is a good day to go check out what everybody else is offering. So let's take a ride. I'll see you down at the dealership. Okay, so Sunday morning, here we go. There are no 2022 Tundras. We're at my local lot. Sun is just coming up a little after seven. I found something quite interesting here. This is a used TRD Pro 2021, but I want you to pause the video. What's wrong with this picture? All right, welcome back. It is a TRD Pro. It has TRD Pro stamped on them, they're stamped in the bed. It has the blacked out emblems. It has the Toyota Heritage grille. It has the rigid industry fog lights, LED headlights with the black surround. It's got the suspension, but the wheels are that of a TRD off-road. That is quite interesting. I wonder why. See, it's got the TRD Pro on the seats on the inside. This thing is obviously gonna be low mileage, which we will see. This is the sticker here, 68180. I don't know if there'll be a real sticker. I'll go online to get some of the details if I can. It's got a pinstripe, TRD Pro Midnight Black Metallic. TRD Dual Exhaust. When I was rolling up, I thought it was someone who took an SR5 TRD off-road and made it into, uh, you know, a pro. But when you see the bed stamp, that changes everything. I wonder why. So my guess is the previous owner maybe had a different wheel and tire package on it that they didn't like. And they went ahead and put something fairly stock back on. That's just my guess. I have no idea if I'm right on that one. Uh, it says this vehicle is not for sale yet, so, you know, that usually means they're going through finishing out the financing on the truck with the previous owner and everything. But look, 2021 Pro, forget about the wheels, 2022 Pro. 2021, 2022. Gonna have to get a picture with the Toyota logo behind it, too. But, uh, yeah, I just found that pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. Not that the TRD off-road wheels are bad. And to be honest with you, since the thing has a pinstripe on it that's in silver, it goes with the silver wheels. Let's take a look on the inside real quick. So heated leather seats, soft text leather. This is TRD Pro on the seat. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, the thing's clean. The thing's probably got six, 7,000 miles on it. I would think it's not even a year old. So if you're interested, there you go. Be a nice way to get into the truck. Even if you don't like the wheels, you could always change those wheels out. Let's go see down here. So like I said, no 2022 Tundras. Uh, Lakewood, the other dealership we go to, we'll go to next week. They had the same lineup as they've had recently, so we just saw that last week. No reason to take a ride up there again. Hopefully by next week they got a couple more. Got some Tacomas over there. And I was looking at other Toyota dealerships, you know, local kind of to me, within a 60 mile radius, and they have all Tundras in transit. So I'm looking to make sure if I'm gonna take that long ride, there are 2022s on the line. Uh, but it looks like there's a lot inbound to the area. This is a 2018 SR5 TRD Off-Road. Really can't go wrong with this. Uh, this doesn't have all of the blind spot monitoring, the parking sensors, chrome rear bumper. It's pretty much straight up as is. One thing people bring up all the time, they don't like the chrome on the front end of the SR5s for uh, especially the 20s, the 21s, the 19s, everything after Toyota Safety Sense, which is 18 and beyond. This is all removal. And you can change that out for body color. Sparksparts.com, promo code 100 to 34, saves you 5%. Uh, so you can change those. You can change all the chrome out on this truck if you wanted to. This has fabric seats. So this is a great way at the time. So what was this, 2018, I believe it said up there on that sticker? 
This is a great way to get into a Tundra at a good price. SR5 TRD Off-Road is always, always, uh, you know, a high volume seller around here, but this was probably in the low to mid 40s at the time. We'll say about 45 uh, when it was brand new. See, it has the TRD off-road wheels that are up there on that Pro too. Price of this one is 43, so 42,995. It has 59,000 miles on it, 59,298. If you want to pause the video, there's some of the options on it. I think we've seen this one a little bit. The markup is 45,180. It's got uh, custom pinstripe door edge guards, you know that whole thing. We've seen that before. Nice clean interior. Not a bad looking truck at all. If you're going to have to have the chrome, if you're not a big chrome guy, black with the chrome does look the best. Sitting next to it, this is that lifted one we saw a few times, I believe. Yes, it is. So they moved it from the island over there to right here, right in front of the dealership. 2018. It's got a mild lift on it. Nice and leveled, probably. I'd say like a three-inch lift, maybe. Looks really good. Uh, you could fit a different wheel and tire package on it, but to be honest, it looks really good as is. It doesn't look like it needs wheels and tires. Uh, it sits really nice. This has the blind spot monitoring, the parking sensors and everything. And this was a TRD off-road. And the way I could spot that, if you look quick at this, you may think this is a TRD Sport, but two things. Number one, you got chrome end caps. Number two, there is no uh, non-functional hood scoop. Got that weird Tundra OCD when I see things. They blacked out the badging. Looks really good. 47,995, 22,951. There's the details. Obviously four-wheel drive. 50,180 with the addendum sticker, the add-ons. But a very nice looking truck. Back flip. Tano. It's got the color keyed bumpers with the parking sensors. Nice truck. And that looks to be it from our lot over here. There's still that red one all the way up on the ramp. That's a 4.6, I believe. That's an SR, 4.6 SR. I will put up the information right now, and if I still have pictures or video, you will be seeing it from when I shot it last time. But that's really it for what they have for Toyota Tundras here at the lot today. No 2022s. Uh, they had a 2022 here the other day. Looks like they sold that thing already, so that's cool. They move in and out of here very, very quickly. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And let's go see what the other dealer lots are working with these days. Okay, driving by a local used lot called Auto Lenders. I saw something that I haven't seen in a while, and it is a TRD Sport Tundra. These things around here, hard to come by these days, especially in white. So, the previous owner blacked out the badges. It's such a clean looking truck. I always said that the Sport was such a good value. You get the big 20 inch platinum style wheels has a black center cap. Everything is body color all the way around the truck. Very sweet, built off of an SR5 platform. LED headlights, LED fog lights. There's your parking sensors, blind spot monitoring. It's got the big Predator style side steps. Body color, body color, body color. That is what this truck is. So you got the TRD 4x4 Sport badge. Obviously 4x4 being in the Northeast. The previous owner put the Tundra inlay in. It's beautiful. It's got the single exhaust with the black outlet on it. The black tip, I should say. Pricing has fallen off of this, but it looks to be 47,745. I can't see mileage, so I will put up anything I find on this vehicle. It has tints on it, fabric seats on the inside. But a beautiful truck. That's what I love about the TRD Sport. And in the new generation, it's still the same idea with body color, everything, and you get in at a cheaper price than going up into a higher trim, but you get that look of a TRD Pro. It would take a couple small things to turn this into uh, visually a TRD Pro, so keep that in mind if you're interested. Very rare to see a white one though around here. Just look at this thing. Oh, so good looking. We talk about the front grille. Not a, not a lot of people are a big fan of the 2022 grills, but if you're gonna have this front grill, this is the way to do it. Body color surround, that pro uh, heritage Toyota grill. Everything matches because it's a black truck. This is the way to do it. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the front end with this setup.
Okay, we are across the street from the Toyota dealership we just came from. There's that pro with the weird TRD wheels. We're in the Chevy lot. Looks like they got a lot of Silverado, so I just kind of want to get an overall idea on the pricing uh, just to see how far off Toyota may be. Let's find out. I don't know how many trims they'll have here. Everything kind of looks the same. Silverado Custom, which is a fairly lower end Silverado. <clears throat> there we go. People say that the Chevy Silverado and the Toyota Tundra now look alike, so let me know what you think about that. This is in black, it has a pinstripe, see? It's not just uh, the other dealerships. Let's get a look at it before we look at the sticker. All right. It's got the big Chevrolet, I'm sorry about the wind. It's got the big Chevrolet across the front, which actually looks better than the bow tie, in my opinion. It's got uh, just okay wheels, says Silverado here. This is gonna be a 2022, so this is their new generation, not new generation, they're doing like a refresh or whatever to the interior. Now my shadow's gonna be in the way of the sticker. So this is a 2.7 liter turbo engine, eight speed transmission. I'll let you pause the video if you wanna see all the stuff that's on this truck. Fuel mileage, 17, 20, and 18 combined. This truck is gonna be 46060. So there you go. It's very weird because it says the truck's 46060, and then on the sticker over here, it's saying that the truck is 40,060 and then 41884 with the add-ons. So that's confusing, but we'll say 46,000. So this compares to like a non-TRD SR5, which would be right around that same kind of pricing. This has the 2.7 uh, turbo, the 2022 Tundra IMAX regular non-hybrid. Well, even the hybrid has a 3.5 twin turbo V6. This looks to be the same setup, but we'll check the sticker. This is a nice blue color. This one here is 46060, so pretty much the same thing. Now, this makes more sense, this sticker. The add-ons make it 47884. And it's the same thing, 2.7 turbo, 2022. Very nice color, though. It's like a blue-gray mix. I'm into that. The camera picks it up way brighter than I'm seeing it, so that's pretty cool. We won't walk all the same trucks. This is a nice-looking truck here. Uh, Chevy always did well with the bumpers, with the steps. I think that's a great idea. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. Looks like everything's crew cab. Here's an LTZ. So now we're getting up into like if you were looking at a Tundra Limited. The tires and wheels are upgraded a little bit there. You still got the steps. Now you got the sensors on the back. Big bow tie. Spray on bed liner. That window slides open automatically. Push of a button. 5.3 V8. So it's not even the biggest V8 they offer. They offer a 6.2 as well. There's all the information on it. 15, 20, 17 combined. 56, 300, 58, 124. Okay, so in going off of that right there, the interior is a lot more juiced up in there. You see, got the nice screen and everything. Does it look like it has a moon roof? No moon roof. Z71 package on this. Big chrome bow tie grill on the front. Nicer wheels, nicer tires. So 56.3 is right in line with the Limited. I'm going off of the non-marked up prices, not at end, I'm just straight up MSRP sticker. Right in the same idea. Here's another one in a very nice gray, or you could say getting close to silver here. This is chrome's blending in nice here. We'll just check out the sticker, it's the same idea. There you go. Same engine, same everything, 56.3, going up to 58.124 if you look at the sticker. Check the fuel mileage, that matters too. So this is still a V8. All right, so we're getting an idea of where we're going now. So it's good to have some options here because I think the last time I was at the Chevy lot, they had like one or two and it was the custom ones. So custom, LTZ, see if there's anything different down here. Looks to all be the same idea. Looks like these wheels, they look good. So now when you get <clears throat> a good shot at the truck with, they're parked up next to each other, but you get a little space here. Get an idea of what the truck looks like. 
So there you have it. That's the pricing. So it looks like as far as Chevy goes, Chevy and the Toyotas are kind of right in the same idea when it comes to pricing. All right, I had to film this thing. This is a 3500 HD High Country, which is the big luxury package for the Chevys here. Duramax. This thing's probably fully loaded. This is the top of the food chain when it comes to tow capacity, payload. I mean, it's got the huge bed on it. It's got a big old bed on it. Big eight footer, it looks like. And the big cab. You don't buy this unless you need this. That's what I always say. Step on the side there, step in the back. We'll check it out. I just want to see the pricing so bad. It's not going to give you emissions much. It gets a C minus. This thing is 78130, 6.6 .6 turbo diesel, white with black interior, Allison 10 speed, Silverado 3500, high country four wheel drive. This is amazing looking, 85954 with the sticker on the side, the addendum sticker, 78130. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I don't know, for, for some reason for me, Chevy interiors never do it for me. They just, I don't know, I don't know. A shot of the front here. Woo. Big old tow mirrors there. I don't know if you can get a better view here. I just don't like the Chevy interiors. Column shifter in an $80,000 truck. I'm just, I'm not into it, I don't know. And that's even down in the regular Silverados because I know a lot of you guys like column shifters and this thing's a work truck, so why not? But let me know what you think about this. It's crazy to see this up in this area. I wonder how long this will be here. So we'll have to check in on it. But uh, got the steps in the side. You got the big uh, exhaust for the diesels. You got the sensors. This thing is absolutely loaded up. Look at the size of this bed. Eight foot bed. Work truck for sure. But if you're going to have a work truck, might as well have a luxury work truck. I am now officially in enemy territory. We are at the Ford dealership, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see if they have any 2022 F-150s here to compare to our 2022 Tundras. I believe these are two of them. An STX and something that looks like it's a little more luxuried up. Hoping for at least an XLT here. So we got, let's see what we got here. XLT, okay, this is perfect. So the XLT is that of an SR5. Think of an SR5 TRD off-road kind of setup. This is a sport. Um, you get start to get some features on this truck. Now, the good thing about the Ford F-150, you can't deny, there's engine options, there's cab options, there's bed options. And they kind of started the chain with the EcoBoost engine with the twin turbo V6 setups. So, there's a reason they're the king of the mountain. Ford smartened up a few years back and decided to just sell SUVs and trucks, and they're still the Mustang. They kind of put all their focus on the F-150, and that is a hot market for sure. They got the Maverick, the Ranger now. So let's check the sticker first, see where we're at on this thing. This is the 3.5 V6 EcoBoost. There's also a 2.7 uh, EcoBoost. There's also a 5.0 V8, and there is a hybrid as well. 10-speed transmission, fuel mileage. That's, that's very good fuel mileage. Sorry about the wind again. It's kicking up as we go. 60,080 on the sticker. So keep that in mind. But you do get a lot of options. XLT series is 5,600 extra. So 60,080, it's a little bit more. I can't really see the interior with the sticker there. It's got a big old screen on the inside. Big 20 inch wheels. Everything's fairly body color. There's little accents that are chrome, but no big deal. It's a nice truck. It's in like an off white, kind of like a windshield pearl for Toyota. There's the screen. It has a, there's your gauge, or gauge cluster. It's not digital. It looks like it has a little center screen there. I can barely see because of the sun. So the engine's made in Mexico, transmission's made in the US. And the final assembly point, Kansas City, Missouri. U.S. Canadian parts, 50%. So nice looking truck here. No bed liner. It has the tailgate options. 
Sport 4x4 with the big F-150 splash across the back. $60,800. A little bit more expensive than uh, the Tundra in that same trim, but again, you do get a lot of options. Please keep that in mind. This has the F-150 in the back with an inlay. Black inlay looks really good. This is an STX. No bed liner. Big solid state window. This has a little window that uh, you can open by button. So Toyota wins on that one because we have the big sliding window. This one here, 2022, this has 2.7 V6 EcoBoost, Oxford white, 47520. So I feel like that's priced right. The screen is a lot smaller in there. So think of this as like your SR5 without the TRD package on it. I mean, it still has the good looks. I mean, everything is body colored out. It doesn't look like you get any sensors on this one. One thing about the F-150 is you can option it up. There are ways to, you know, pretty much build these trucks single part all the way through. So like if you want one thing, you don't have to buy a package, which is great because that's what Toyota is doing now. You can buy individual um, features for your truck instead of buying packages. So there are the two brand new F-150s on the lot, 47 and change, 60,800 on the other one. Let me know what you think. I'm starting to get hives. I gotta get off this lot, I'm getting itchy. I gotta find a Toyota lot real quick. Very quickly before we leave, this is the Maverick. Super small pickup truck. Do you feel there is a market for a pickup truck this small? Quick shot of it. I mean, it's very small seeing it. This is the first time I've seen one in person, like up close. It's 23,535. Very small truck, but you know what? It's a great price for if you need bed for you know every once in a while maybe weekend warrior type stuff this might be the answer do you agree with this comment below do you see a market for a pickup truck this small okay so we've seen some great examples of pricing on these trucks uh, we are heading to the ram dealership which is a little bit further away um, i'm happy we've been able to see 2022s from each of the brands so far just like toyota there's not many out there for everyone uh, you know, there's we got to see a custom Silverado. We got to see the LTZ, which was awesome. Uh, Ford had the, the Sport XLT. Uh, so we got to see a few that, you know, could help us compare the pricing here and there. Now, on our way right now to the Ram dealer, I must say, I got the truck in sport mode. Somebody asked me this question yesterday on one of the forums. Sport mode in this truck is at least to me, feels completely different than the sport mode in uh, the regular 3.5 twin turbo V6. When you put the sport mode on the regular iForce, uh, the truck, just like any other sport mode in any other vehicle, it feels kind of jumpy, like it's holding the gear longer. Um, you're going up into the RPM range a little bit more to get the most power out of it, uh, but it kind of feels a little jumpy when you're you know, getting up to speed or when you're coming down at a traffic light, that kind of thing. This sport mode just feels super smooth it just makes the truck feel more powerful i don't feel any uh you know as far as like a jumpy feeling or it's struggling between gears or one to hold gears it just feels linear linear is the word of the two days for me so far three days now that i've driven this truck everything is it's a lot to get used to in the way of the hybrid engine because the truck gets real quiet sometimes when it's running on hybrid uh you know if you're sitting there in a parking lot I was sitting there and the truck was idling then all of a sudden it just wasn't idling anymore and then as soon as I put my foot on the pedal it still was quiet but it was going and then all of a sudden you start to hear the engine again so there's stuff to get used to like that but overall power delivery sport mode is amazing normal mode it's very good um, and eco mode is very quiet and nice when you want to just drive uh, and as I said in the initial video Everything about the acoustics on the interior is amazing because all of the sound on the outside is, you could obviously still hear it, like I could hear it's windy out, but it's not loud. I could have a great conversation with anybody in here without any issues, and the JBL sound system is definitely 10 times better than it used to be. So that is also something to keep in mind because we know that in the 14 to 21, a lot of us have complained about the JBL not being up to snuff in some of the upper trims. When you spend that kind of money, you want a good sound system. The sound system does just fine. So overall, uh, the, the truck is extremely powerful. Sport mode is a lot of fun. It's not jumpy. It's just when you put your foot on the pedal, you're gone like this. Like, And that's the other thing about this truck that I was saying uh, yesterday in, in uh, a conversation with somebody online. 
this truck is fast to the point where you got to pay attention to your speed because all of a sudden you'll be going way over the speed limit and you won't even know because the truck is so refined and so it just gets down the road real nice it's not bumpy it's not jittery you're just cruising linear is the word my friends linear all right let's head over to ram and see what the pricing is there hopefully we can spot a rebel because the rebel is actually the direct competitor to a trd pro tundra so let's see what we got figured we would start this video right with the trd pro beautiful gigantic american flag behind it made right here in the usa san antonio texas shout out to all the men and women that build these amazing trucks for us down at tmmtx thank you very much god bless america let's look at some of these rams there's quite a few of them the wind as you can see from the flag is getting insane so please excuse the noise <clears throat> we got a ram limited here 5.7 hemi I like the way the Rams look. Uh, it took a while for me to for the Ram in front versus the old Crosshair grill to grow on me, but it did. This is an as is. Somebody put the Ram in the American flag, which is cool. So we're down in the used. Uh, <clears throat> we'll go over to the new. I don't know where the sticker is on this, but since we're here, let's see what we're at. Let's see what the pricing is, mileage is. This is a 2019 42737. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. 117,000 miles on it. And the price has remained that high. We live in very unusual times, my friends, for vehicle pricing, very unusual times. So let's find some new Rams. Got the certified pre-owned license plate frames on it. So I'm just going to go up until I see. I saw a bunch of new ones in the front. So they got Fords. They got a nice variety. This is where we saw that really nice Cement Limited Crew Max not long ago here at this dealership this dealership is gigantic very easy to get in get out i gotta give them a lot of love on that one these are all used i guess the new ones are up here but real quick before we talk about the ramps you know how a lot of dealerships are hard to get in get out parking is never good they got all the parking up front here they got all the cars lined up here it goes all the way back that way it goes around this giant building tons of space in here high five lester glenn <clears throat> this looks to be new ones here an idea <clears throat> 1500 e-torque so there you go a little modern this thing's chromed out chrome equals price it's probably pretty expensive 57490 uh with the addendum sticker i don't know if there's a real oh here we go right in front of me look at that started at 47055 this is a 2022 4x4 big horn so this is sr5 the total is 53415 you can see the options there it has the big horn package which gives you pretty much everything you would think of in an sr5 this has the 8.4 inch screen okay uh, in the sr5 you can get up to a 14.1 but they have a big screen for ram 2 i don't think you could get it in the big horn though i think that's limited and up so 53 415 is the price crew cab the big cab for them, unless you go mega cab, but I think that's only up in the 2500 if I remember correctly. Chromed out, nice truck. Doesn't look like it has parking sensors. So the price is good, but you know, you're, you're giving up a few options here and there, but this is their volume seller, Bighorn. My father used to have a 2015 Bighorn in silver. So what do you think? What do you think of that? And what do you think of the pricing? And we move on to could very well be the same exact thing. I'm pretty disappointed. I was here, I don't remember how long ago, maybe a couple weeks, three weeks, and they had a Rebel. If I could find the pricing stick, I, I took a picture of the sticker. I remember if I could find that picture, I will put it up. It was in the TRD Pro range of pricing around 68 grand, I believe. It was definitely in the 60s. E-Torque again, white. Looks to be the same setup. Of course, I went to the wrong side for the sticker, but while we're here, better shot of the interior with the sun. I always like the dash layout on the Rams. I think they look good. Fog lights, big Ram across the front. All right, I don't want to step in the pothole. This thing is pretty much the same setup. 53, 6, 4, 5. There's all the information you need. This is got some nice fuel mileage, 1924 and 21. 
So everybody's right around the same idea. 57720 with the markup. 3.5, or excuse me, 3.6 liter V6, 24 valve e-torque engine. So this has a small engine, but it's putting out some good MPG, if that's what you're buying your truck for. I think a lot of people still want the 5.7 Hemi. How much longer will that 5.7 Hemi last is the question. This looks like it has a little bit different of a wheel. Let's check this one out. This is 1500 Eco Diesel, that's cool. All right, so this is a little bit different of a truck. Hard to compare an Eco Diesel to a Tundra, but we shall. I like the hood. A lot going on on the hood. If you look, the hood's different. It's got a little bump in the center there. This has like, you know, air fins, vents, all that. This has the big screen. So this is that big long screen like an iPad. This is gonna be expensive, 67195, 68980 with the add-ons. That's not that bad for a diesel, I guess, right? This is a Laramie crew cab 4x4, so you're looking at like in Tundra Talk Limited, 21, 29, 24, that's great gas mileage. And this thing's loaded up, sport appearance package, bed utility group, Laramie level A equipment group, 392 rear axle ratio, this is the 3 liter V6 turbo diesel engine and the U-Connect. This is the high-end U-Connect 5 trailer brake controller. It's got these, they're chrome, but they're like machine silver almost. They're not like crazy chrome spray on that. Locks that window again, opens with the push of a button. What do you think of that sport? Which one of these Rams you buying? And last but not least, we have another e-torque here. This has smaller wheels on it. So this may be another Bighorn, but just not a highly packaged out Bighorn. 53.3, maybe I'm just wrong after looking at those. So I probably was completely wrong. This is the same exact truck. 3.5 liter V6, 24 valve. Uh, 19, 24, 21. The fuel mileage on these are excellent. 53.315 is your price. For a low end truck, it's not a bad interior at all. Keep that in mind. So there you have it. So which one of these trucks are you buying? Okay, we're now leaving the giant Ram lot. That's going to be it today as far as our dealer walk. We saw a lot, you know. We saw that really cool um, 2021 TRD Pro that they put those TRD off-road wheels on. Um, how do you feel about that? I need to know in the comments below. What would your thoughts be if you were going in to buy the truck at the price we saw on it and it didn't have the right equipment like the wheels? Would you make them order new wheels? What would you do? I'd love to hear what you guys think. That was a 2021. Um, I don't know the mileage on it because it didn't have the sticker on it yet, but I will throw that up. I probably already threw it up. I'll throw it up again because why not? Um, but as far as some of these other brands, it looks like all the pricing is very, very comparable to where Toyota is at now. Does that make the pricing extremely high still? Absolutely. Um, the pricing on everything has gone insane, but with the new generation Tundra, uh, you know, and a lot of these trucks are going through refreshes and, and things like that. Uh, Chevy's taking care of their interior. They're doing some different things, which I am so happy about because I'm not a huge fan of that Chevy interior. I never really have been, but that's just me to each their own. Um, the Rams here, we got e-torque. Is the 5.7 V8 going away? I think we're gonna see the V8s go away very, very soon in all the brands. So it's not just the iForce 5.7 V8 that went away. Uh, I think the Coyote's gonna go. Um, it's just these emissions laws are insane nowadays. And that's why all the brands are getting rid of them. Keep that in mind. This is a normal, not sport. It's just fun to get up to speed. Hybrid, baby. Oh, that's just, that's not even fair. That's so much fun. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we saw everything we needed to see. The pricing's right where everybody's at. It all comes down to who's marking them up, who's not, what's the inventory like. But it's a good baseline to get a conversation going on this video. So I'm going to drive home in this beautiful 2022 TRD Pro Tundra that stickers for around $67,000. It is midnight black. It has the cockpit red interior. We're uh, living the dream right now for the week. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one of those trucks did you like the most? Which one of those trucks did you like the most as far as the non-Toyota ones out there? Uh, which brand would you pick if you had to pick and which individual truck that we saw? We saw that really nice F-150. We saw a couple of really nice Rams over here. Um, we saw some LTZ uh, Chevys over there. So there's a nice 
nice options. I'm glad that each dealership had some form of a 2022, just so when we're doing our research, we can compare directly. I didn't want to find leftover 2021s because who knows uh, you know, what the pricing would be with that because the pricing between the 2021 Tundra and the 2022 Tundra is vastly different. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TundraDude34, TundraDude34, gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe. Be well.